Hello guys, welcome back to Strike Eagle Models. This is uh, Warren Blanche. Um, this is update three on the Edward BF109 F4. Um, also, I did a, a little um, photo update um, the other day. Um, but for the other people who haven't watched it, because obviously I've, I broadcast this video on YouTube as well. Um, yep, yeah, so last, the, the last video I did, it was a pre-shade stage um, now I've actually um, obviously the pre-shade's done I've uh, masked off for the sky blue and the desert that's all on I've put white wing tips on that's done I've put the um, red brown tail on the back that's done um, I've also put the white band on the back of the fuselage and on the front of the cowling that's done I've put the prop on that was already pre-painted and weathered from when I was started this kit before so that's on that's got chipping on it um, and last night I put on all the main decals all the big decals I'm gonna count once I've done this video I'm going to do uh, the rest of the decals all the little decals um, it's got a SWAT sticker on this one so I will be putting that on I'm guessing that's what that means on there. And if you can see it, it's like a, it just shows like a gray diamond. I'm guessing that's representing the uh, SWAT sticker. Yeah, so that's the stage I'm at now. So I'll give you a little um, show. And then what I'm gonna do, once I've showed you my progress, I'm gonna do a, because quite a lot of people keep asking me about this and how you do it so it's a uh, dry brush chipping which I do obviously I've done the uh, hairspray technique I have done um, where you spray this the plain silver obviously that's what you can do that with a hairspray but you can also put like rock salt on it on your aircraft and do it like that um, but I find I find the easiest an effective way with a bit of practice is just dry brush chipping and all you need is one stipple brush one pot of silver paint some kitchen towel or toilet roll and then I'm going to do a demonstration actually on the BF109 itself yeah uh, the decals uh, the decals are very thick and they're very glossy but it doesn't matter about them being glossy because I'm going to put a matte finish on matte finish on it anyway so it doesn't really make no difference so now I'll give you a quick show of what I've done I'm going to have to do it this way and I there you go guys the lights not very well I'm going to put one of my, my light had in my man cave excuse me I'm going to have that in here because it's a bit crap at the moment. Right. These decals here, um, they've actually got rips in them where the paint's come off. It's supposed to be like that, but you do get the decals where they're just plain, where they haven't got any worn marks on them. And what I'm gonna do with this is I thought, well, I'll use those and then I'll put some dry brush inside where they've put the the worn marks. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. Yeah, so it's... There you go, guys. I actually forgot about the white band on the front. I did it all and then I thought, Oh, I'm sure there was a white band on the front and I went and looked in the wire so I had to go away, mask up and put a band on the front so, yeah. there we go guys it's getting there, it won't be long at all now I've got all, all the landing gear and everything I've already got that here, it's already painted up and weathered, I've just got to put it together and stick it on, so that's not going to take long. The only thing I've got to do from scratch is the, uh, the canopy, 
just mass that up and well, I don't like doing canopies but yeah just a little announcement guys um as soon as I finish this uh BF109 um myself and Frankie Day are gonna be doing a group build with Ravel 132 scale Spitfires so if anybody has got that kit feel free to join in with us me and Frankie will be hosting it together um, and there's no time scales on it or anything you just just build it when you want it if you complete it you complete it if you don't you don't there's uh, no worries with it it's not serious it's just a bit of fun um, I will show you the kit if I can get to it I'll just get the kit and show you That's the kit guys that we're going to be doing um, it wasn't going to be a group build at all um, if anybody wants to get this kit it's uh, the, the kit number is 03986 there you go yeah, well, I was just going to build it myself and Frankie in one of his videos says oh I'll do that with you if you want and then somebody else says I'll do that I'll do that so it wasn't going to be a group build it's just turned into a group build so if anybody wants to join in feel free and as, as I said me and Frankie are hosting it together no it's not serious just build it if you don't build it you don't build it if you do you do um, Right, I'll uh, do this demonstration on the um, dry brush chipping for whoever's interested. Right, I'm going to have to move the, the camera. Oh. Right then guys, I'll uh, try this demonstration on the dry brush chipping again. I've actually just spent the last three minutes doing a tutorial on dry brush chipping to myself. Because when I flip the camera around on the tablet, it knocked the record off. So I'll try again. There's your paint, brush, tissue paper. Put the lid off the paint. Get your brush, dip it into your paint. Get the excess off. Get your cloth. Dab it off like that. Right, and then all you gotta do is just like that. Dab it on, I'm trying to do the side, but you can't see that. Right, you just got to do that process 
you can put as much or as little as possible on. It's up to you guys. Don't be deterred if the first time you put too much silver paint on and it looks way too much and it looks rubbish because the first couple of times I did dry brush chipping I had exactly the same problem. It took me a couple of attempts to get it just right. So don't don't be deterred if it doesn't work the first time. Right then, let's get this camera flipped back around. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'm just going to pick it up in this right. Does he want to pick it up? You can see it anyway. Bits of this, bits I've done on the on the front here. There, you can see the bits there. It's not focusing for some reason. Anyway, that's how you do it. Anyway, guys. All right. Right then guys, thank you very much for watching um, and I'll see you on update 4 which will be the final reveal. Thank you very much guys, bye.